what does tonight's result mean for the rest of the season? Pretty much that. You know, we came in tonight knowing uh, a win could probably secure finals, but uh, but we're playing a very good team. You know, yeah, it's not the season for them at the moment, but uh, <clears throat> but I don't think there's anyone in the league that doesn't think that the quality they have that on any given day, if they play well, that they can win games. So uh, we certainly got punished tonight. Um, you know, a couple of uh, errors which cost us in the end, but uh, you know, that's the way it goes. We have to dust ourselves off and prepare for our two home games, which are big matches now. Two early saves from Daniel Mangush um, kept the Wanderers in it early, so could be a different story if those went in. Yeah, the could have, and that's the game. They were great chances, you know. We uh, we fashioned two very good chances on the counter, but you know, in truth, we weren't good enough in the first 20, 25 minutes, and uh, that's what's ultimately cost us the game. Uh, we were second best, uh, despite the chances we created in the first half. We were, we were very much second best in that first half. Uh, Inzaki scores at the end. It could be a very different trip of self there. They seem to come back straight after that to score the eventual winner. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a game of fine margins. You know, I don't think we were great tonight in the first half. I, I thought we were very good in the second half and uh, controlled the match and uh, had enough chances to get back into the game. But uh, that's how it goes. As you chase it, you sort of open up and, uh, you know, the second goal obviously kills it off. But uh, we certainly had enough chances in that second half at, at that point to get back into the game. Anything else from the floor? All good? Onto the Zoom, Ed. Uh, yeah, Warren, um, another what looked like a hamstring for Tom. Is that a recurrence of the same thing? And I'm guessing he'd probably be no good for Wednesday. Oh, I'm not too sure yet, mate. It's um, Something sort of happened in there. I think it was a, some neural thing. So we're not, we need to assess it tomorrow and, and Tuesday and see where it's at. I'm not too sure. Um, and Dylan, it was a, it was a ingrown toenail that fell out before the game. Is that what I heard? Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we had to, he had to get it removed uh, before the game today and then the pain was too great for him to put a boot on. So it's really unfortunate for him and for us that he wasn't able to play. But, um, you know, that's the way it goes as well. So we had to adapt and Alex came in and, uh, you know, it was a threat all night. Is, uh, I'm assuming Dill will be right for Wednesday night. Yeah, I'd hope so. I hope so. I think it was a pain management thing today. It was just too tender and hopefully we can get him right for Wednesday. And I guess just finally that that game against Perth, it's uh, it's it's really important for both clubs, isn't it? You're you're looking to secure that top six, and they're they're right in the hunt too. So it's going to be a big game again. Absolutely, you know, set up nicely. Uh, two teams desperate to want to make play finals, and uh, we're at home, and we've got an opportunity again. It's in our hands to you know get a good positive result there, and you know that that hopefully we'll see us there.